Now, amid mounting hopes of a possible hostage swap between Israel and Hamas, of, with reports of the first hostages being released as early as Thursday, families of over 200 kidnapped Israelis, they are continuing their relentless pursuit of getting their loved ones back home one day after clashing with the far-right Israeli politicians on the same. You can only imagine the kind of relief that they would be feeling. It can start as early as Thursday, that's one day from now. Now, the politicians, of course, who want to bring in the death penalty as a possible sentence for captured Palestinian militants, that definitely remains one point of contention. But relatives of hostages held by Hamas in Gaza and their supporters mounted a protest outside Tel Aviv's Ministry of Defense. Their demand is the immediate release of all the hostages holding signs with photos and the word kidnapped and murdered in English. Demonstrators voiced their frustration after being kept in the dark over a potential deal to free some of the hostages. I think the only thing that I could call justice is bring everyone back home. But I do understand that it's difficult and I hope this deal will help us bring everybody back home as well. And I'm really hopeful that they'll come back soon. Families of the hostages and their supporters also lay a table with empty chairs representing the hostages held in Gaza since the 7th of October. The posters and billboards bearing pictures of hostages held in Gaza since the 7th of October attack have also sprung up across Tel Aviv. Over in Rome, a group of relatives of hostages held by Hamas militants met Italian Foreign Minister on Tuesday evening. This after Israel's Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, asked his government to back a deal to clear the way for the release of some of the hostages, which has now been welcomed by Hamas. We are ready for the our best for helping you. Not easy, but we are here. Our door are open for you, for you. Meanwhile, families of those hostages who could not physically take to the streets remain glued to their TV sets in anticipation. One of them is 63-year-old grandfather Gilad Congold, who has been forced to consume sleeping pills to cope with the loss. Congold has seven relatives missing, including his son, daughter-in-law, eight- and three-year-old grandchildren, and an 11-month-old baby. They're believed to be taken to, into Gaza by Hamas. Nobody can imagine how we feel, okay? Imagine that you, your kid, instead of sleeping in the bed with blanket and it, it's underground, deep, it's deep tunnels, uh, three years old, uh, my girl, uh, my girl, uh, grand, granddaughter, she loves to jump all the time, trampoline and, and, and in the couch, and she's very happy. There is a baby, 11 months, uh, uh, that start, need to start to work. On the other hand, families in the West Bank voice their joy and optimism at a potential prisoner swap deal that could see their teenage son return home. Yusuf and Frida Abu Maria say they are hopeful of seeing their teenage son return home after he was arrested in August and jailed last month. Ubay is serving a six-month sentence. <laughs>